exactly agree with animal testing. According to the Humane Society, animal testing, um, the term animal testing refers to procedures performed on living animals for purposes of research into basic biology and diseases, assessing the effectiveness of new medicinal products and testing the human safety, or sorry, human health and or environmental safety of consumer and industrial products, such as cosmetics, household cleaner, food additives, pharmaceuticals, and industrial slash uh, agrochemicals. Um, animal testing, it got popular in the 1900s when the US Federal Food, Drug, and um, Cosmetics Act basically told companies basically told companies that you have to make sure that your um, products are safe for human use, which pushed companies to start um, testing on animals. So in my Google form, I asked people, on a scale of one to 10, how often do you use animal tested products? And despite the price, 80% answered one or two, meaning that they don't really use animal uh, tested products. But um, an example of just beauty products alone, there are about seven major leaders, right? You got L'Oreal, Johnson Johnson, and Estee Lauder, and um, the other companies. And that's just the beauty companies. They all test on animals. Some may say they don't, but when you ship out um, exports to places like China, you like it's required by law that you have to test on animals. So what are some consequences of animal testing? Animal testing can be considered unethical. There are other alternative methods. And it actually got the vaccines to be pushed out. So animal testing is considered unethical. According to PETA, the over 100 million animals get killed in the US yearly from testing. A little less than a million animals, um, excluding mice, rats, and uh, rabbits, dogs, cats, hamsters, guinea pigs, monkeys, fish, and uh, birds. They all get kept in um, cages and are used in experiments. And that's just in 2019 alone in the US. And about 100 million um, rats and mice get kept in captivity and used in testing. Uh, experiments. The treatments are pretty harsh. Like I mentioned earlier, the animals will be kept in cages. Sometimes they'll be in the skull drilled in. They're exposed to toxic fumes. They're um, exposed to psychological trauma. And at times they get their skin burned. Which leads to my question of would you ever stop using animal tested products or brands? And most of them, well, everybody said yes, actually. Which um, goes to my next topic of having a alternative method for, uh, of animal testing. So in a research experiment involving venom and embryos, uh, researchers and scientists basically injected um, embryos with all kinds of venom from spiders to snakes and they were trying to see if the embryo would react. And the embryo did. It responded in a way where they were able to make anti-venom to the venom. Through trial and error, um, they were, like I said, um, made it an anti-venom, which is an alternative since many don't really consider embryos as living things. The research concluded that the EEM, which is um, embryo, embryonated egg method, may enable, re, uh, re, sorry, <laughs> enable re reduction or replacement of the use of small animals as long-term research that enables the elimination of animal abuse and potency testing continues. And speaking of needles and injections, what do we think of? the COVID vaccine. According to Bloomberg.com, six 
$6.34 billion vaccines were given out. Uh, I think it's like to this day. Um, but in order to do that, researchers, scientists that had to research and test on obviously animals to make sure that vaccine were safe. First, oh, it was more like that. Oh, no, we'll go back to this. First, they tested on cells and tissues. Then they went ahead and test on, tested on animals. When they tested on animals, they were able to see side effects, toxicity levels, and anything else that could be harmful to us humans. Then we had animal trials. Oh, sorry, human trials. Um, according to the European Animal Re uh, Research Association, animal testing is critical to ensure that the vaccine does not end up making the infection worse or even fatal. In conclusion, animal testing has a lot of consequences. Today we talked about it being unethical, it having alternative methods, and it being a vital part of the COVID vaccine. But it's, it has a lot more consequences. That's just a small piece of a larger puzzle. The humane um, organizations like the Humane Society and PETA continues to fight against um, animal testing, while the U.S. Federal um, Food, Drug, <laughs> and Cosmetics Association fight for human safety. Oh, sorry, hold on. Everyone is entitled to their own opinion, and I hope I informed you well on this.